In this video, we'll help you get started with ActiveCampaign in just five minutes. Although it has many, many features and is a very powerful platform, ActiveCampaign can be very simple to get configured and set up and get you started with your marketing efforts. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make ActiveCampaign even better for Europe-based businesses. Let's dive in. So the first thing you're going to do if you don't have an account yet is to create a trial account. You'll get a free 14 day trial. You can do so with us through Wildmail if you'd like to get additional benefits for Europe based businesses. You can do that here at wildmail.io. Go to new account and you'll see that you'll just have to enter your first name, your last name, your email, your desired account name and give it a few seconds. Your trial account will be created. And there'll be a button that says log in. And when you log in, you'll go directly into your active campaign dashboard and we can get started with step two. This will be to add your business address. This is legally required for sending emails. You have to include the sender uh, and the sender address. And so what we're going to do is inside settings in the bottom left, we're going to go to addresses. You can see we already have ours. This is our default. And you're going to fill in all of this information. Okay. And then when you go to default address for lists, we use this one address for our main lists. And we also use this for our user groups. And then if you're using the SMS feature inside active campaign, you can also set up your sender name here. All right. As it says, this helps you identify yourself to recipients at the beginning of all outbound SMS messages. And you'd use your business or organization name here, not your full address, just your uh, business name. This helps you avoid getting blocked um, by users in an SMS when you're sending text messages using Active Campaign. So we've already covered step one and two. We're going to move on now to creating your first list. Back inside your Active Campaign account, if you go to contacts, you'll see in the secondary navigation menu lists. And once you're here, we already have ours, but you would be able to click this button up here, add a list. You're going to fill in the name of your list. You're going to fill in the list URL. Typically, this is going to be your main website when you're first starting out your homepage. And then you're going to give it a description. This reminds your contacts why they're on this list, why they're receiving your emails, helps you avoid getting blocked, marked as spam. So once you've filled in that information, you'll have your main list. So you'll click add and we already have this one here. So now we're already through step three. And the next step is to import your contacts. So back inside active campaign and you'll see at the top here, add a contact, you can add someone manually or you can import and we're going to use the import from file feature. And this is the most common way importing via a CSV file of your contacts. So I'll go import from file. And from here, I can select our sample import file. This file is already formatted with email address, first name, last name, organization name, phone, a date based field example, a field with multiple values and multiple tags. Okay. And you can choose over here, map these into your fields inside your active campaign account. The most important for you right now is going to be first name, last name, email address. It's okay if you don't have these other ones created yet. Select the list you want to add them to. You can choose the list that you just created. You can add a tag if you'd like to identify where these contacts are imported from. All of this is advanced. You don't need to worry about this right now. You can go ahead and click import now, and it'll take a bit of time depending on how many contacts you are importing. So we've moved through steps one through four already. And the final step is to create an automation to welcome new subscribers when they get added to the list that we created. If you've imported contacts and you have an existing newsletter that you're sending out, your next best step might be to create a campaign. You can check out this video to learn how to do that. If you want to send out a campaign immediately, a one off email to these contacts that you just imported. However, typically it's going to be to create an automation to welcome any new subscribers that get added to your list. So let's get back into active campaign and we'll go to our our automations tab in the left. We're going to create a new automation. We can start from scratch. There are tons of recipes that you can choose from as well to get you started faster. If you already know something that you want to create, feel free to search or select one of those, but we're going to start from scratch and hit continue for our star trigger. We're going to choose subscribes to a list. We're going to choose the main list that you just created, set it to run once just for the first time that they subscribe to the list. And now sending options, we're going to send an email. We can call it welcome. 
And I'm going to select Save and Design later, but you'll have the option to start with one of the many templates that Active Campaign offers for your design or start from scratch and create your own email. Okay, and then from here, you can end the automation or you can continue with a wait block, wait for a specific number of days, create a drip sequence to nurture new leads, etc. We have plenty of videos in our marketing automation channel around that. But at least with this, you've already got your initial email set up to welcome new subscribers to your list. You've got your active campaign account configured and you're ready to start marketing to your contacts and you're ready to start bringing in new contacts to grow your list. So this should get you started quickly with active campaign in just under five minutes. And if you have any questions about how to accomplish one of these steps, feel free to drop them in the comments below and we'd be happy to help you out.